After a 9-1 regular season, the Shamrocks earned a bye through Wild Card Weekend and hosted the Connecticut Panthers, the only team to beat Marlboro so far in 2021. Neither side could put up any points through the first quarter, and here on the Panthers' first drive of the second, Narcisse finds the back out in the flat. He maneuvers his way down the sideline and looks like he's picked up a nice game on the play, but at the last second, Will Early the third rips the ball out, and the Shamrocks come out of the pile with it. That gave Blake Rice and the Shamrock offense great starting field position, and five plays later, they'd capitalize on the Panther miscue. Rice off the play action, hits Johnny Moores Jr. on the quick slant, and Marlboro had a 7-0 lead midway through the second. After a punt on Connecticut's ensuing drive, Rice led the Shamrocks to another score. Eight plays that culminated on this touchdown pass to a wide open Mitch Lalage to help give the home team a 14-0 lead at halftime. And after the Marlboro D forced a punt on the Panthers' first drive of the third quarter, the Shamrock offense all but put this one away. This scoring drive went 70 yards on nine plays and was capped off by this jump ball from Rice to Bobby Goldby. The big tight end makes the grab to put Marlboro up 21-0 and the rest of this one was dominated by the Shamrock D. In the fourth, Connecticut's backup quarterback, Jamie Bryant, tries to extend the play by moving around in the pocket, but he eventually runs out of room and is sacked by Shippy Winfield to kill the drive. And later in the fourth, the third string Panther quarterback tosses it up to the end zone, but Kyle Jimenez Fox makes a sensational play picking off the pass, his second interception of the game. Marlboro shuts out Connecticut 24-0 and advances to the ECFL semifinals where they'll take on the Boston Bandits.